this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition. We are playing with Marcus Garvey. We are on Expedition 3 of 6, and we're doing okay. We're playing on certain death, and we're doing okay. Can't say much more than that, really. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. As it turns out, I think we're going to play it safe and go over the Yellow and Pani drylands. We need villages. We need villages to be able to settle in to get our sanity back up because Marcus Garvey only has 70 sanity as opposed to 100 sanity with the rest. We did have a missionary. He got eaten, so we lost it. And he was almost fully leveled up. But we don't want to talk about that. He was a raging alcoholic. I'm, I'm sure that just enriched his meat and that's what got him eaten but i digress that's not something that i can personally talk about uh, we'll just have to uh, live with it we we'll live with what's happened i'm afraid so anyway let's crack on we're going to the yalampani drylands and again there we go after being too excited to sleep i arrived at the docks the captain had yet to arrive so i imagined what lay upon the horizon or beyond the horizon would be more apt the gentleman appeared at the port with with a look of disdain on his face he reminded me of the wager unfortunately i took too long i wondered this would have an impact on my reputation um i didn't look um I, in my off a woman approached me with a request minus 80 days oh she told me about her missing husband a former adventurer who failed to return from his last expedition she begged me to try and find him and if he was still alive, accompany him safely back into her arms. Yeah, we took a sanity hit. Boo. That's fine, that's fine. We're still near first. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll look for the guy. What's your name? What's your name, love? Ophelia Osborne. Ophelia. Yes. I nodded gratefully and promised to seek out her loved one. My past expeditions had been quite successful and I felt I was soon to see my face on that statue. My reputation preceded me. So many new recruits arrived at the ship willing to join our trek. Who did I want to recruit? I just followed the crowd. No, you didn't, Gick. You're a liar. You're a big liar. I don't like you. You are my most hated. We save your life and all you do is moan and, and bring evil down onto the group. Don't like you, Gick. You're, you're like, Taranette, she's gone up in my books. Yes, she may be a horrible ra um, sexist and a cannibal. But she's, at least she's got a bit of perkiness about her. You know, she's not so down. She's not so down on the trek even before we start. You, you are just a, a gla you're, you're just a glass half empty kind of guy. And we, we can't tolerate that, Gick. I saved your life, God damn it. The least you can do is smile. God damn it, Gick. Right, so we can choose from Utman Asgard, the Bedouin. Yeah, we can choose from Harold Ed Carter, the sailor. Mmm. And we still got costume flares. Harold, welcome. We could use a resourceful sailor like Harold Ed Carter and welcomed him to our party. Sail ho! He, my heart jumped with joy as I heard that the vessel was prepared to put out to sea. Right, well, what can we buy? Uh, well, it's chocolate this time around, it would appear. So we'll take all the chocolates. We're doing okay for torches, he says. Uh, we'll, we'll take the rope. Uh, we'll take two torches. Don't really have to worry about bullets. By the time that we get around to fighting, uh, we've got spears anyway. We should have accumulated a few bullets. Not too fussed about costume flares. Marbles aren't the best for trading. They say they are, but it's it's lies. It's all lies. So I think... Well, with that in mind, I might as well just stock up on everything else. So we've got uh, five people in our party who can be injured. So we better take another two of those. That doubles up on that. I'm just trying not to, uh, to make any more space be taken up on the trek. So let's take all of those. And then it is costume flares after that, isn't it? Rope. Yeah, we could. Mm, we could take a couple of t climbing gear, I suppose. So that's, as far as fresh stuff is concerned, only three. That's fine. Deal. Deal. I rejoiced as the vessel was prepared to put out to sea. Now I know I could have upgraded Mr. Hawk, but I'm okay with that for the time being. I'm okay. Uh, that said sail. Expedition 3. Generating 
Animals! Yay! Lots and lots of stuff to get us killed by. Um, we're still in a four-region map. That is not too shabby. Only the two things in this whole entire area, though. That's uh, that's not good. The open seas were glorious to sail upon, and I was somewhat sad when we reached the land of our imminent adventure. I was curious to discover what adventures were awaiting us here. Now, where do they keep the golden idols around here? I don't know. That's what we've come to find out, Tarina. That's what we've come to find out. Uh, let's begin the expedition. Huh. Well, okay. We can make our way through. If we use the costume flare... Oh, that's very large. Can we find a way through the... Uh, could have, I could have bought some machetes, couldn't I? Silly me. Yeah, there we go. Get past that. Uh, are these inactive? They are. That's good. Uh, okay. Uh, we might as well head south, I suppose. Right next to a hill. Oh, what's that? A giant skeleton. Mm -mm. Right, so we've got a stone statue. I'm, we, there's no need to hit that right now. We can hit that on the way back because we don't want to be upsetting the uh, the natives too much. With that in mind, let's, uh, let's see what this question mark is first. Oh, an abandoned camp. We found an old campsite. To our surprise, it was not vacant. Someone had survived here for a seemingly very long time. He introduced himself as Louis Muller Bell and told us how his team had turned on each other, stranding him out here alone. I knew this was the missing husband we'd been asked to return home. Well, come with us, Louis. You look like you could do something to eat. Fancy some chocolate? I told him about his wife and that we would escort him home. His mind had obviously cracked under the protracted absence from civilization. I assured him that henceforth everything would be fine and told my team to pack up and prepare to leave. Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, right, who can we upgrade? Who can we upgrade? Um, costume flares, isn't it? I'm thinking... Because there's going to be X amount of... What's the word I'm looking for? Native tribe camp thingies. Uh, that uh, Taran is probably the best one to upgrade. So we'll, we'll do that. And then we'll crack on. Do we venture south just to see? No, let's let's u let's use. Oh, then we can go down there. That'd be a bit better. Yeah, we'll do that one. It's a bit better that one. So one of those. Oh dear, this isn't going to end well. That's what we needed. All right, so. We've got the ivory. Uh, again, we can hit that on the way back. I'm looking for a village, really. We can really do with finding a village. So, how much to get to there? 29. So, three of those. That's almost all our food gone. Great. Uh, once again, not helping us too much. More food. Great. Really? 31? Okay, okay. Oh, so note, I think we can rest at that. A long forgotten pathway led to a small patch of grass by the pond. This was truly an abyss, but we could not catch a glimpse of the bottom. Look into the well at night. We waited until the night was pitch black. Seemingly out of nowhere, a ghost appeared, hovering over the surface of the water. We were told of an undiscovered region with considerably volcanic activity. However, legend suggested an unusually high frequency of shrines and treasures could be found there. After this miraculous occurrence, the otherworldly spirit disappeared from our very eyes. After a rather uncomfortable night, we were ready to head out again as new adventures awaited. Yeah, well, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. Could have been worse, could have been worse. What has it got to? 38. Okay, we're going to have to risk it. Hope to God nobody eats anybody. 38. Yep, that's all I can do. There goes nothing. Oh dear. The ongoing physical stress numbered our, numbed our senses and led to negligent pathfinding. Louis Muller Bell stepped into a spear trap. It looked freshly placed. The spears were coated with dark muck. The wound was surely infected. That's fine, that's fine. We've got some medical stuff here. We erected a camp to tend to the injured. So heal up, Louis. 
We use the first aid kit to treat the injuries of Louis Muller Bell. He had more colour in his cheeks afterwards. Hmm, of course. And then we're going to crack on. 26 with 0 on. This isn't going to go well. This isn't going to go well. Oh, a shrine. Well, let's hit it. Why the hell not? We stood before a temple comprised of huge stones. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. The structure showed some big cracks, but it seemed secure enough to explore. Okay, before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Let's have a look. Lots and lots of gold. Take it all. This is not a day of hesitation. The treasure was ours for the taking. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We hurried outside as the shrine was swallowed by the earth and huge mountains erupted from the ground. Oh, well that changes things. Oh, we lost oh, we lost it. Lost the swamp land. Rubbish. Rubbish. What to do? What to do, what to do, what to do? Uh, that was not good. That was not good. We're nowhere near that question mark, and there's no way into it, is there? 47? And we might have to fight a tiger. Well, there's not a lot more I can do, so let's go for it, I suppose. Nope, nope, what's going to happen? I had already withdrawn myself when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Gick against an attack, but to my horror I found him dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. I was not of right mind to contemplate the truth of the incident. I dug a grave till dawn then buried him. Good, good riddance. Good riddance, glad, fine, no problems. Goodbye, Gick. Goodbye. It was a shallow grave, too, because I couldn't be bothered. Bastard. Alright, so let's use some of this lovely dynamite. Please be something useful. A village. Are they upset with me? No, they're, they're good. Today we reached a village. <gasps> no, we didn't. 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 Yeah, that's great. Let's leave. Let's leave. That's great. Fine, fine, fine. Ha! Enter village. We returned to the village. An ornate stone idol was positioned front and centre of the village. We were guided into the village by a crowd of cheering kids. Our reputation seemed to be very positive in this region. Upon our arrival, Tarana Baba began to converse with the natives. Please let us sleep here. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. A young child was so excited about our stay that she ran up to me for a hug. A rash was clearly visible on their neck and arms. Let's allow the hug. It's just a child. I'm sure it's nothing too dangerous. I did not want to appear rude and allowed the child to hug me. I prayed to God that the affliction was not infectious. Uh, let's just sleep for the time being. I got a splendid night's rest. The following morning was bright and sunny. A perfect day for new adventures. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. A girl placed some food by the idol. We're not going to steal the idol. There's lots more villages yet. We're just going to... Can we recruit? Is it worth recruiting? Will it allow me to recruit? Let's see. I sat down and spoke with the natives to see if some locals were interested enough to join my cause. Not long after, I found a group of would-be new Trek members and needed to decide who to recruit. So we can have Zubakik, the animal handler, Madapiwoth, the shaman, or Thera, the shaman. Yeah. Well, you're claustrophobic, you're superstitious, and you're claustrophobic. The native shaman die would be pretty cool. How many green dice do we have right now? Uh, two. And if we upgraded him, it would mean that uh, Donkey Mr. Hawk would hold more but we, if we had the shaman mm, I think claustrophobic spell let's go let's go with the animal handler zibu kick welcome the animal handler joined our trek our time with the natives was a delight they remained friendly and offered us more help a girl placed some fruits by the idol well let's trade right so we want food so you can happily have all of the teeth. But I would like, in exchange, all of your cocoa leaves. 
or the berries. How much for your gold earrings? Mm, how much dynamite is that? Two? That's a bloody good deal. What about the jewels? Uh, the dynamite? Deal. That's a good deal. I came to an agreement with the natives. Well, oh, let's go. We, we pretty much packed out good. We got ready and departed as new adventures awaited us. Well, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Um, do we want to avoid the zombie pygmies? Where are we going? Uh, we could go directly down. We really want to get on to here. 61. How much to avoid the zombie pygmies going this way? 62. Yep, I can live with that. Oh god, I've got a rash. <laughs> Bloody children. Well, we'll have a quick look and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Never shine. Right, so an unsightly affliction. Let's use the medical kit. Oh, well, I'm not injured at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, well, let's go to this question mark because it's the furthest out. And then we can make our way on to the next region, I think. 57. What about people to come around this way? 65. What have we got? 8. Okay. Uh, so eat the berries. And two cocoa leaves, three cocoa leaves. As long as we don't attract the zombie pigmen, that's pygmy men, not pigmen. That's fine by me. Hopefully it's something good. Another village. Yeah, that'll do. We entered a native village. Its inhabitants invoked respect due to being well-armed and formidable warriors. I could smell that they had just prepared food. The villagers kindly beckoned us over and offered us some of their freshly cooked food. Ooh, that's, that's very nice of you. Thank you, thank you. The villagers seemed to be very happy about our appearance and welcomed us with open arms. We seem to be very popular in this region. Huh. Upon our arrival, Tarana Baba began to converse with the natives. Well, let's rest. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders asked my opinion on the delicate matter of who had created humankind. Was it God, evolution, or don't know? Uh, well, as it turns out, Marcus Garvey was a Methodist, who later became a Catholic, so we'd have to go with God, I guess. We told him that we believed God created humans. He nodded quietly as he listened to our explanation. I got a splendid night's rest. The next morning I woke to face a crowd of natives. It seems my expressive yawning concerned them. Our extended presence was perceived well by the natives. They remained courteous and gestured for us to find comfort in their settlement. Well, now is the time to trade and bugger off, I feel. So, what do you have for me? Uh, you have more berries, more cocoa leaves, and some more jewels. So, what would you like? What can I afford to give you? You can have... You can have... Three more dynamites and the rest in torches. Deal. I reached a deal with the natives. Well, let's go. I told them to pack up and head it out as new adventures awaited us. All right, 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 right. How much to get down to here? 49. And then back up. That's because we go around, isn't it? 57. Let's do that. Hope we don't anger the bird. No one plays Angry Birds anymore. It's looking good. Looking good. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Some more bullets. Awesome. This bleak and ancient place was located in the midst of a swamp, littered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, many generations of the majestic creatures had come here to die. This place scares me. Let's just all stay close together. This place surely retained some trinkets of worth. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. After a short while, we found valuable elephant tusks. Such a boon could be sold for a high price. Two, and they stack, and we have one more space left. Cool. As we left, we noticed that our presence had attracted inquisitive wildlife. That's fine. Right, let's eat the meat. That clears up that space. And the berries. That'll do. Uh, back up to the shrine. 
leave the panther alone, although it is angry by us. Not good. We arrived at a long forgotten shrine. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. The portal that led inside emitted an eerie chill. The surface about the structure gave off heat. It was still possible to walk there, but the potential source of this heat was disconcerting. Oh, we better have a look then. We carefully entered a well preserved ceremonial chamber. It was a truly awe inspiring sight. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. More gold! Right, oh jeez, we have to leave stuff behind soon. Okay, well. Do they stack? They stack. We need to leave nothing behind. Is this even legal? No! We're grave robbing. This was not a day for hesitation. The treasure was to be mine. Fabulous, more riches. That's the spirit zub zip. Right, so we didn't incur a penalty then either, which is even better. Even better. 42. Uh, right, 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 right. 42, 60. They're, they are going to fight us. So, oh, we haven't found the pyramid yet, have we? Uh, 57. That'll keep us away from... Yeah, that'll keep us as far away from the Pampa as we can t stay away for the time being anyway. So, that'll do. New region. Oh, it's a cave. Okay. What can I do with you guys? If I can prom promote you. Ah, oh, and you'll hold more stuff. Hey, that'll do. Right. Um, can we use a costume flare? Get a better idea what's going on around here. Oh, well, there's the pyramid. Okay. Um, right, so let's use a dynamite on this. No, let's not risk it. Eat that. Oh, jeez. Hit two of them. No, oh, here we go. Zabba just started to show irrational fears. Mm. Let me toddle. Explore. We located a cave. The rocky moor seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We required a torch to uncover its mysteries. Uh, let's have a look. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a small cavern strewn with the detritus of what seemed to be a failed expedition. What little remained was rotten. All the bones we found had been cracked open and, as it seemed, sucked empty of marrow. Hmm. Well, that's pretty scary. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to useful equipment. More dynamite and chocolate. Cool. Are we actually... Are we in it now? Well, that's even better for us. Alrighty, so we need... Uh, I can't see that far. Rubbish. We need to get up onto that. So let's eat the chocolate. And uh, let's eat the cocoa leaves. Oh, hang on, you got you got a rash as well. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, that's 50, so I have to eat another one. Up we toddle. Oh, cancel. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, so we're going to... We're going to eat it, and we're going to hope to... Yeah, it's not even going to get close to that. 45, 49. That is closer to that. That's going to be a village. They're upset with us. Uh, let's go there. Let's go to the village. Uh, do we attack? No. We carefully approached a mysterious native village. The people here were apparently fierce warriors and fearless and intimidating warriors. I do apologise. The villagers observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We were able to walk amidst their number freely as though there was nothing unusual about our arrival. As soon as they spotted us, the natives approached us. We seem to have gone into bad reputation by now. Oh, okay. So we can't rest. Can we rest? Let's rest. The natives agreed to let us take shelter in an empty hut. However, they demanded a gesture of goodwill from me because of, of our less than virtuous reputation. Uh, that's fine, because we can trade at the same time here. So, what do you want? We're not going to need ropes. You can have the rope. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the torches either. So, I'll take the jewels. And all the mangoes and all the berries. Wow. Um, what about some costume flares? They're not worth a lot. Might as well keep those. Dynamites. 
Doing alright though. And a medikit. Oh, you bastard. Um, and a bullet. Yeah, that'll do. Deal. As we reached an agreement with the villagers, we unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. The villagers were very hospitable and we spent an enjoyable evening with them. Cool. I got a splendid night's rest. The following morning I woke to face a crowd of natives. It seems my snoring amused them. We could not shake off the feeling that we had stressed the hospitality of the villagers more than politeness would dictate. Well, we better go then. We got ready and departed as new adventures awaited us. The villagers were glad to see the back of me. The following days I felt that someone or thing was following me out there. Uh, now we've got pygmy zombies. Great. Great, great, great. Right, so down we go. 46. And that keeps us away from the majority of this stuff. So that's cool. No, maybe not. Oh, just the one. Ah, that's fine. Don't know what I was worried about. You, sir. Panther, without a name. You're about to get an ass kicking. So, uh, let's throw the spears in. Because why not? Why the hell not? There you go. Spear throw. Have it. Uh, you, want, you want some more? Uh, attack. Okay. How about we just kick him in the face a few times? Oh, a ripper leap. Sounds spunky. Uh, what again? Nothing? Repost? Die. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Uh, we have the space for everything, so why not? And we'll just crack on. Uh, we're going to get the pygmy people on our side, which is, or not on our side, which isn't good. We'll go this way. Ah, the pyramid. Explore. The exotic landscape complemented the extraordinary golden pyramid. Thank the maker. With confidence, you have won before you have started. Now it's time to return to the ship. All right, so I need to get over to there. 65. Can we use a custom player here? We can. 55, okay. So... Oh, yeah, the mango's going to go off. So let's eat the mangoes. And see what this is over here. Oh, another shrine. Okay, well... Well, worst case scenario, we'll have to go the long way around. A large building loomed in front of us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Low-hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. The structure was slightly tilted and subsiding, although the ground seemed stable enough to attempt entry. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What to do? Let's leave. Uh, the reason I'm leaving is because we're just going to go a little bit higher. And then we're going to go back in. Done this bit. And to the shrine. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Lots more gold. And they stack. Everyone's winner. Yeah. What a glorious day. That was exactly what we came for. We grabbed what we could and dashed outside as the ground disappeared behind us. We would have to run for our lives to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm that was beginning to form. Okay. Let's eat all our berries and leg it. Leg it, leg it, leg it. Can we get to there? 74. Can we get back to the village? They're going to be pissed, but it's probably our best bet. Let's do it. Run, 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 run. No, it's all gone wrong. Come on, what are you going to do to me? While we stared into the campfire, Louis Mullabelle stated that these lands deserve to be punished through flame. I was unsure what he meant by that, and he was unwilling to elaborate. Just don't set a fire just yet, please. Just need to get back to the village. Oh, dear. Well, if they're going to attack us, they're obviously not going to... Uh... Yeah, surprise attack. Uh, okay, well, how many are there? A scout, a warrior, and a scout. Well, we could take the hit. Uh, let's aim at the warrior. And let's sit him twice. And hope that we get ahead. Stable position or maximum defense. Ooh, what's that? 
Observation. No, we're not too pussed by that. I need a head. That's all I need. Okay, we're going to take the hit. So, let's pull that up first. Defend that. And take the explosion. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Oh, food. Thank God for that. And the spear. Right, so let's eat the food. We can't enter the village. Never mind. Uh, buh, 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 buh. We could heal some people. Or do we just leg it? 42. Do we forgo the... Or 50. Do we forgo the uh, ivory? We got quite a bit of gold. And we're running very far behind the rest of the people. Uh, money, money, money. Two lots of ivory, three lots of gems. We should be okay, really. Uh, we've got lots of gold. Yeah, let's just go for the head. Let's not be too greedy. That's how we die. Oh dear. We might die anyway. Everybody was lost in their own thoughts, when suddenly Taranau Baba stood in front of the group and shouted into our faces that not all hope was lost. She expounded about never giving up, and after a while we started to cheer and laugh at ourselves. She somehow rallied the group and instilled new hope. Well, that sounds like that's the missionary coming out in her. So, huzzah, I guess. Let's push it. Oh, they're all getting rashes now. It's obviously contagious. See, they're, they're lonely at night, they're hugging, maybe doing other unscrupulous things. Rash is spread. This bleak and ancient place was located in the midst of a swamp, strewn with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, hundreds of the impressive animals had come here to die. This place surely retained some trinkets of worth. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We inspected some skeletons and found some well-preserved tusks. They were undeniably cumbersome, but would prove valuable if we returned them home. Oh, yes. As we departed, we noticed that our presence had attracted, in, attracted inquisitive wildlife. Don't care. Don't care. We're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, maybe not. Don't let anyone important die, please. Damn it. I hope that my eyes were playing tricks on me when I saw Louis Mullabell stride back into camp with blood on his face. I searched for hours but could find no trace of Zabuk. Oh, why? Okay. So, how many are we overburdened? Three. Okay, we can get rid of the meat. What else can we drop? Uh, the panther pelt isn't worth too much. We'll get rid of the panther pelt. One more thing. The men mushroom. That's fine. Off we toddle. Please have some food. Oh dear. My wound had become infected. Each day is an ordeal. Okay, well, let's examine first. I came across a fascinating more than three metre high granite idol. The grotesque face seemed to focus on us. Its presence made me uncomfortable, and I desired to move on. I saw a few items by the statue, which must have been put there by people from a nearby village. They were surely sacrificial offerings. Mm. Mine, 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 mine. Um, yeah, you can keep the torches. I'll just have your food. It's going to go rotten eventually anyway. It's, it's just a waste. I am just recycling it. Giving it its proper destiny. We took what we could use from the apparent sacrificial offerings. Cool. Eat, 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 eat. 25. And bang on 25 to get back. Come on. Nothing nasty now. We're doing good. Nothing nasty. We're done. We're there. Bastard. Bastard. We were exhausted and terribly hungry. As the night fell, Harold Ed Carter approached me with a suggestion. If we butchered one of our animals, we would regain much needed energy and instill new hope. What is this purpose of life? Well... He talks. We can't eat Mr. Hawk. He's a talking donkey. Do you know how much money he'll be worth once we finish this? He stays. Sorry. I refused the proposal. Howard Ed Carter became irrational and not open to any di discussion. Oh well, we're home anyway. Our vessel was still offshore when we anchored it. Laying eyes on her again made me feel a little homesick. Uh, okay, well, let's just sail home then. With all the compiled information on the Golden Pyramid, my work here was done. I took one last moment to glance at the explored lands. Our vessel set a course for London. I knew my grandchildren would talk about this adventure long after I was gone. After weeks of travelling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that this name, Marcus Garvey, would not be forgotten. To England!
That was awesome. That was a fantastic expedition. Yes, we didn't finish first, but we got the Golden Pyramid. We got the crazy guy in the in the uh, camp, which was abandoned. And we've got a shed load of gold. So, boom. Not too shabby. Incredible. I agree. I agree. Right, so we can choose from Fresh Air Fanatic, Increased Sanity Gain and Resting in Nature. We can have Waterproof, or we can have Adept receive an additional support die. That's the blue die, isn't it? We have a few blue die. He's got some blue die. She's got some blue die. Uh, well, I suppose out of all of those, reduced movement costs in shallow rivers is probably the best. So we'll go with that waterproof. Hello! Huzzah! So where are we? Third. And um, wow, we're quite way behind actually. I'm glad we've got as much gold as we have. So gift it, gift it, gift it, gift it, gift it, gift it, gift it. Right, well ahead. Sell, 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 sell. Keep, keep, keep. Cool. So we have uh, about 150 sa uh, sanity, uh, sanity fame ahead of Isabella Bird, which is great. We have lots and lots of monies, so we can buy lots and lots of goodies. And we also get some more cash for bringing that guy back on the next one. Awesome. What do we get to choose from next time? We have the Unseen Drylands. We have the Looming Desert. The Looming Desert. We have the Monstrous Burning Drylands. <laughs> and we have the Monstrous Jungle. Yeah. And they've all got buried golden pyramids. So it looks like we're going hunting for seals next time. But we shall sort that out next time. I'm in a good mood. We'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.